Kozi Tanaka is moving up to 115 and now is the mandatory to Ioka. Thoughts on that, Gary? That Kozi Tanaka, Kozi Tanaka, pound for pound, possible fighter, three division champion, moving up to his fourth division now and taking on Kazuto Ioka, who looked fantastic in his last fight. You're muted. Yeah. Um, I would like to have seen him stay at 112 and clean up there because there's still other fights there, but I can't fault him. But this is a huge fight for him. I mean, it's obviously huge in Japan and it's a great fight. I don't know who I would pick him to beat everyone at 112. I don't know if I can pick, I'm going to pick him to beat Ioka straight away at 115. It's a great fight. Um, Gary, 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 come on, man, come on. Give me your, your tits. Have you been smoking something? Come on, man. Julio Caesar Martinez. I'm taking. I would. I, I. I would take Tanaka in that fight. What? Oh, why is that crazy? I, okay, I could see Martinez winning. Martinez is an offensive powerhouse. Like, yeah, I could see him winning. But like Tanaka is great too. Like uh, Tanaka is more battle tested. Tanaka. I. I would take Tanaka. I'm not saying Martinez can't win. Obviously, he could win. It's a great fight. I would lean towards Tanaka. Okay, he is he he is more battle tested. He is he he has a great resume. Um, look, I'll be, I'll be of this mindset. I am so upset we're not going to get Tanaka versus Martinez. That is such a great fight that would truly define who is the best uh, flyweight in the world. But I get it, I get it. Plus, I mean, look. Ioka Tanaka is a fantastic fight. It's still a great fight. It's a massive fight in Japan. And plus, Martinez can still fight really good competition uh, at 112 before he moves up. Because let's be honest, he's a giant guy in the, that division too. He's probably going to be moving up to super flyweight sooner rather than later and adding more depth to that division. Um, we could we could see this isn't uh, unlikely here. Let's be honest. They're both under the same umbrella and are from not rival camp, so to speak, in Mexico, but they're definitely not in the same camps. We could see Juan Francisco Estrada versus Julio Cesar Martinez in the next 18 months. Absolutely. And and if Tanaka beats Ioka and Gonzalez gets past Yafe, we are 1,000% seeing Tanaka versus Roman Gonzalez in Japan. So if that all happens, I'm kind of okay with this, but... I, <laughs> I I still want to see that Martinez Tanaka fight, man. I'm so upset. That was such a great fight. Damn it. We can still get it, you know. Like they're both young enough, but it can still happen. But still, Gary. I, I I'll be honest. If that fight happened next, and then both guys moved up, I'd be far happier. Yeah, but it, it, is, it is what it is. Obviously, I want that fight too. But Tanaka's getting this opportunity to fight Ioka. I'm sure there's more money in Ioka in Japan than there is uh, Cesar Martinez. So I mean, it's a legacy fight. It's the biggest fight for him. I mean, what are you gonna? You gotta fold him for taking it? No, 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 not not at all. This is purely fanboy talking here and saying like I, that's the matchup I wanted. Me personally, that's a matchup I've been thinking about. God, now for a year. Like when I, whenever I think about like fantasy matchups, that's on the top of my list. To be honest, in terms of like pure, like that fight is a fight of the century in terms of what it could produce. Tanaka, like you said, Tanaka is battle tested. Look at his fight with Angel Tito Acosta. You know, the fights like Vic Saluda. Like, all those fights. Like, he is a warrior. Martinez is a fucking bruiser. That fight would have been epic. Like I said, it's probably going to happen. Um, but the road to it happening is longer. Then picking up an L before it happening is more likely. And again, that doesn't mean as much in the lower weight classes. But if for flyweight history, so to speak, and I know this is super nerd like pointless categorizing, but like for flyweight history, it would have been nice to say this guy, either Snocker or Martinez, was the best flyweight of his era. You kind of can't say that. We obviously have probably we could lean to Naka most likely, but Martinez has a great claim to it as well. Um and also Heath Farley in the chat coming in late, uh saying uh Tanaka isn't gonna beat Ioka. Damn. I I don't I don't I don't know about that. I'm picking Tanaka versus Ioka. Who are you picking that fight, Gary? Look, Ioka is great, but I'm picking fucking Tanaka. 
Ioka's the spoiler. Uh, right now, and I, I, I may change this, but I'm going to go with Ioka uh, for the time being. You've you've always liked you've always liked Ioka, so I can't fault you for that. Um, and he does play spoiler a lot. He does, but Tanaka is a giant flyweight man. He's so tall. He has range on him. His reach is significant uh, for flyweight. I, I think he's going to transition to super flyweight very well, in my opinion. Uh, I love the fight. Love the fight. Yeah. Who's a five foot nine flyweight? A super flyweight. Like uh, I mean. That's not going to deter Ioka from getting on the inside. like. No, but I would say Tanaka is a far better inside fighter than Polite. Yeah, yeah, he's far better. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I mean, Polite is a sniper from long range. That's it. Yeah, um, he's a 5'9 fucking super flyweight. He has to be a sniper. He, he literally can't throw hooks on the inside. Like, think about it. He'd be like, uh. uh he'd, be just like, he'd be like Deontay Wilder. That's what it looked like to a degree. Uh, I've always said that Flick is the, the, the flyaway Deontay Wilder. Yeah. Um, Gary, any other thoughts on Tanaka, Ioka? Any other thoughts on any other topics on the show, man? Or any other topics you want to talk about? No, that was the one I wanted to get into. I wanted to talk about the Greer fight. And I wanted to talk about Tanaka. Um, we got an hour and 45 minute show today when, you know, we were talking about other enough topics to even do a show. So it was a lot to get into today. It was a good show. Yeah, I definitely, once I, it was one of those days when once I started looking at the topic list, I was like, oh, we actually have some topics to get to. And even one like I, I forgot to put on, I thought we discussed Tanaka already, and apparently we didn't. Um, but I think maybe that was just talking about it on social media because I was talking about it, I think, yesterday a lot because I think that's when the news came out. Uh, but, anyways, Gary, uh, that's going to be it for today's show. Uh, obviously, find us at MCR Radio Show on Twitter. Find me at Matt Hunter MCR on social media. Find Gary at 3D Boxing Blog on social media as well. Um, hit the like button, share the show, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Patreon.com forward slash uh, Mixed Combat Radio. Uh, if you're listening on iTunes right now, drop that five star review. Uh, Gary, any other thoughts? Any other uh, last well wishes to the listeners? No, like I said, find me on all forms of social, social media at 3D Boxing. I thought we were going to have to spend a lot of time uh, chopping up that Golden Boy card. Fortunately, Matt didn't watch it. I would have, the regret fight was actually pretty good. So if you get a chance to go back and watch that. Um, he always puts on good fights too. Yeah, it was, it was a ton of punches. Uh, he fought the, the, the Argentinian Olympian, the two-time Olympian who they called the Argentinian um, Loma. I, I can see why they call him that, but he's just not good at it, you know. <laughs> and the guy, he's, he's a decent fighter, good fighter. But I mean. Loma. Wait, who was calling that? DeZone? DeZone commentary? I mean, that's kind of like, yeah, they were, but that's kind of his nickname. Like, that's. Look, pro tip to all fighters, do not put in your nickname legends. Just don't say, um, I don't know, like Matt, Matt, the next Roy Jones Jr. Hunter. Like, no, don't do that. Just don't stop. Bam. No, don't do that. Nicknames overall suck anyways, uh, unless they're like truly catchy. Uh, so don't, don't try to be corny with it, please. What about your boy, Little B-Hop? But yeah, but he changed that. He's prime time now. He's prime time, and I think I think honestly speaking, I know we still call him a little B hop. Uh, I think he was smart to change his nickname. Absolutely. To 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 create your own brand is better than to attach yourself to another brand, uh, and especially in this sport. Uh, Someone else's nickname, like Sugar Shane Mosley or Pud Rodriguez, what about stealing a legend's nickname. Stealing it. Uh, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Cassius Clay Collard. Yeah. <laughs> God, that shit. it was lame in the UFC, man. It's lame in boxing more. So, uh, anyways, guys, you know, hit the like button, all that YouTube stuff. Gary. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Peace. Thank you.